Hello, sir or ma'am. Looking over my list, it appears I've missed one. Let's rectify this right now. Come with me. So I forgot one, and we're gonna address it accordingly. Purpose of the feedback videos is just that. I want feedback, I want to ask a question, I want to get the answers. Sometimes I might miss them, and I did. If I miss it in the future, call me out, we'll do it, we'll address it. But Mr. Big Daddy Cool himself, uh, as he calls him, has wanted to call it the franchise, uh, the Fallout franchise as his favorite. Uh, huge open worlds, just so much to explore. You can customize the game to pretty much be any favor you want. Uh, and that's just what made it so good, so iconic. Now, the Fallout series as a whole, like, I'm obviously sporting a jumpsuit here, but my workbench, which is constantly being customized, is just a little bit of Fallout flair. We got dog meat, we got coasters, we got that Nuka-Cola Quantum to refresh yourself. Are we still in frame? Eh, more or less. So, obviously, I'm a big fan of the Fallout series as well. So we're going to talk about it here. We're going to make this short, sweet, simple. Not waste your time, not waste my time. My time is meaningless. Your time is important. But the Fallout series, they've been going on for a while. We've had the original two on uh, PC. They were all top-down, kind of point-and-click games. Then we saw Fallout 3 come out for the next-gen consoles and PC at the time next-gen. PS3, Xbox 360, PC, as we said. Uh, First-person shooter, huge RPG elements, definitely modified the... Um, Western RPG uh, first-person shooter aspect because we had the Skyrim, not Skyrim, backup. We had the Elder Scrolls series that really had that first-person element, but that was still focused on uh, melee combat, magic. This was incorporating the use of guns. And then we had the VAT system included, which gave you that ability to slow down freeze time depending on which game you're playing and target specific limbs, do extra damage. Had that fully customizable like level up tree. Uh, right from the beginning, you can customize your your strength, your charisma, kind of pick where you want your points to be. I know some of the games, New Vegas, I think, in particularly, if you really dumb down your, like, intelligence, it kind of made the game very interesting, and hopefully there'll be some examples edited throughout this of certain things I'm talking about. But Fallout 3 definitely revolutionized a lot of the first-person uh, shooter genre. It was not without faults. Bethesda games, they're broken. There's a lot of issues. They patch it as they go. It's just how it is. We moved on from Fallout 3, which was uh, in Washington, D.C., uh, and we got uh, some great voice acting, too, in that. We got Liam Neeson. Uh, we had, I believe it was Ron Perlman doing the uh, War Never Changes. I hope it was. I think it was. It probably was. Uh, but then, like, the music. We had Three Dog. We had all that cool stuff going on. We went from that game into Fallout New Vegas, which took place in, guess where? Las Vegas. Uh, change of scenery. We had deserts. We had sand. We had kind of that more gray tones. They added some weapon customization into it that Fallout 3 didn't have. New enemies, but they didn't change a lot. Uh, we got Friends star, uh, Matthew Perry, I think, sure, uh, playing the main villain, Benny. In like He loved the series. There's been talk that like how much he actually enjoyed doing it. His voice acting wasn't that good, but uh, I know you, in particular, who were making this video targeting, uh, you're not a big fan of New Vegas. Uh, you don't like... The Obsidian, there we go, the studio that made it. I don't know if anything's changed since then. I don't think it has. Just, I don't know. Maybe it has. Maybe uh, maybe you've forgiven them and you've moved on. Who knows? They made other games. Uh, you ever play Outer Worlds? They, they made that one. That game was fun until it was forgettable. But then after uh, Fallout uh, New Vegas, we moved on to uh, Fallout 4. Easy enough. Fallout 4 went to Boston. Boston, great location. Fun fact, uh, I went to Boston last year, and it was cool playing the video game first and then going to the actual city it's based in and seeing a lot of similarities. They had that uh, the battleship, the old school US whatever it was. That's actually there. It's not controlled by robot captains, but it's there. The Freedom Trail, all that stuff. Like how they incorporated that into the game is really cool seeing firsthand. So one of the few times I can say like I've been to a city and seen what it's based on. However, Last of Us, I did get Boston, parts of that, yeah, that too. But uh, Fallout 4 added the settlement system, uh, love it or hate it. It essentially, uh, it you could build up bases, uh, and then early on it had that exploit, so you could like maximize your money and buy all the resources for free, 
that was awesome to build super bases, but they fixed that. The biggest gripe was uh, Preston, one of the, the freedom, freedom men, Minutemen, whatever he was, and constantly, this settlement needs your help. Drop everything and go help them. And like trying to micromanage that got to be a pain. And this settlement's under attack. And like you, there was all this stuff that you kept having to do. It took a little bit away from the story, but it was still really fun. Um, it was cool. Uh, mods. It was the first one that introduced mods to the console era. I'm um, get Fallout Three and New Vegas have had mods on PC forever, but Fallout Four we got to see mods on consoles, which is kind of cool. Uh, that became a new thing. And then from Fallout Four in its uh, West Virginia, West Virginia setting, we went to Fallout 76. Now that's, uh, I've played more of it than I probably should have, because I got it for, it was a buy two, get one free sale. So technically I like to say it was free, but I got it. I played it. It's, it's not bad. It's also not good. It's more of the same. Like I'm glad it was free. Um, if you have friends to play with, it's fun. None of my friends picked it up, so I didn't play with any of them. <laughs> so, um, uh, it, it did some things right. The VAT system changed where it's, because it was an online game, it slowed down time for you, but it didn't stop it. So you wouldn't have unfair advantages. And, um, the crafting system was a little bit tweaked. Building bases, building bases was kind of weird. Some parts it worked better than others. And it was, I was trying to find that right location. I know I had a location by the water, which was awesome until the bugs and, the sound, like, there was a lot of ambient bug sounds that drowned out everything else, so that got annoying. But it had a very, um, the map was huge, and it gave you everything. You had deserts to the north, you had, like, a boggy swamp to east, to the east, and then you had, like, normal mountain range in there, you had a ski lodge, no snow, but it just, it had a lot of different elements going on in it. Uh, and then they finally did release an expansion for free, which actually fixed, um, fixed. The story mode adding npcs adding the story so it got better not amazing but you know um fallout 4 is still probably one of the better in the series until we see whatever fallout 5 maybe it's probably going to be a while till we get anything new on the fallout front especially with the uh not warm reception that 76 got especially with their microtransaction system that that i've, I've picked up a couple things because you can earn the atoms that use their currency in game doing challenges so i did get a couple cosmetic things but overall it's it's i don't know it's not that good but i am hoping that bethesda whatever they're done working on whatever they're doing next next game in the elder Scrolls series next game in whatever new wolfenstein just for because why not even though the last one didn't do so good they had a good streak going then it ended but whenever they finally get around to Fallout 5, um, maybe we'll see it on the PS5. That'd be fitting. And the uh, Series X. Maybe we'll get to see what it can do on these new consoles. And then PC Master Race will be like, oh, we could be running it for years. And, well, too bad. Consoles. Sorry. That's where we are. Like, if you got a PC that can play stuff, awesome. Good for you. I used to. And, but I'm just more too much of a console gamer. It's, it's my thing. It's easier. And they still look pretty. And Last of Us. Just saying. You guys get Horizon, but you don't get Last of Us anytime soon. So, uh, with that said, hopefully going into a little bit of information on the Fallout series, you found educational and fun. Um, as I said in the last video, and there's now a post up about it, I want to know what, your, uh, what movie you hate. What's a movie that you, you just hate? And we're going to talk about that next. And I will do everything I can when I finally pull all of them to make sure I have them all this time. So, so Mr. Big Daddy, if you want to throw in a movie you hate, do it. Put it on that list. I know uh, one person I was already throwing a feedback and I read that. And I was like, oh, interesting. That'll be an odd one to talk about, but okay. Uh, but yeah, I want to get a few of them and then we're going to do this again. But hopefully I won't forget any. Otherwise, if I do, hopefully I have a costume that can relate to it because I only got so many. <laughs> but until then, you know, you be safe. You be kind. I'll see you next time.